We're gonna go to Circle K. For what? I don't know, like a palm or something. How about a water? You can have water. That yeah, water's overrated. Your body does not think water's overrated. No. Your body likes water. My body likes pop. <laughs> Okay, gentlemen, what do we know? Do we know the property line? Yeah. Cool. We have a survey. We're not surveyors, but we, we have a, a general idea. Yeah. Hey, hey, did you guys notice when you walked down here, did you know it was a little squishy? Oh, yeah. yeah. You go start digging in that, it's really, really bad. It's not yeah. good. It's really bad. It's it will be nothing but solid water coming out of the ground. We're gonna do this entire job without destroying these people's yard because there's a better way to do it. Right. And we're gonna give them a stronger product. We're gonna do vinyl fence only. You're saying, hey, this isn't vinyl, this is steel. We're gonna get vinyl, but we're gonna start with four foot chain link stuff. Oh, we gotta cover the concrete. That's rain coming. Hurry up, get all the concrete. We don't even have our post to hike yet. We better hurry up. Oh wait, we don't have to worry about any of that because we got all the time in the world. Do you know how much concrete we bought for this job? Zero. My body likes water. My body likes pop. I made it. Others weren't so fortunate. Yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah, brother. Yes? This isn't mine. You know the best part? What? The insides smell like corn tortillas. I'll just let this blow over and yeah, we'll I'm go back to Yeah, I'm gonna get whatever here. we got out. I don't want nothing to get ruined. Yeah. We're right there. That's where the dot. We got, we got a minute. Yeah, I can drop my mug boots. Or choose a different occupation because you're gonna have wet feet. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen not a lot. Not if I just wear mug boots every single day. Okay, wear mug boots every single day, and then on days it doesn't rain, you're gonna be blistering hot. Your feet are gonna be sweltering hot, and they'll still be wet because you have all that sweat. So, I already have some at home. Yeah, well, next time you'll bring them. It's well, Florida. I didn't know it was gonna rain. It's Florida. It rains every afternoon. I don't know if you've been watching the weather every day. Didn't catch any of that. No. No. Well. Now you know, it's kind of like lunch. It happens every day at noon. If you want to eat, bring something. These are lessons. Welcome to construction. I already brought my lunch. Mm-hmm. I already he didn't, ate he it. Did, he didn't bring his lunch yes, one I day, did. and then he had to starve. He starved. At least you'd think he did. Yeah, Let's roll. I feel like we got this. Oh, it's going to be good. Like some privacy. She's really happy with the no-dig system because yes. her yard's not trashed out. Yes. Another satisfied customer. Yeah. yeah so we try and teach great. people that there's different ways to do things. And this is a relatively new technique, but there is so many advantages to doing it. This slop being a huge one, because we would have destroyed your yard. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah, with this rain, too, yeah. and just the stability of yeah. it. Some of the, what we see is, is like sections will blow apart, but yeah. we put the rail locks in the top, so mm -hmm. even that can't happen. Really? You know, and I usually came, they don't do that? No. Oh. Yeah, that's not something most people do is put these rail locks in. They might use a screw. Well, this can so. be great. Yeah, uh, I can already tell. Hey guys, it's a new day here. It's me, Cade the Professional here. Today we kicked the amateur out because he doesn't know what he's doing. And we need a professional standpoint on this gate. Yeah, I'm supervising because we all got to have the professionals touch on this fence. Hey, were you looking for a professional? Because I was on this side. No, I am the professional. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Check your email, please. Okay. Here, professional. Need some shade? 
It's always about helping the team out. I'm producing shades so he can check his email. I forgot to submit my hours. Cade the professional? Well, it was definitely a learning experience just being here on this job site and having him just take complete control. It's been a real eye opener. It's been an eye opener for me and I'm sure it's been an eye opener for Austin over there. Man, I'm so glad I joined the team, especially a team of professionals. What do you say? It's just, uh, it's enriching to be around him. There's always, uh, always something new. Always interesting with Cade. Oh, it's been amazing. He knows everything he's talking about. He's telling us all the right directions and steps to take and the fence is coming along great. I really feel more comfortable on this job site now that all the amateurs are gone. That's left to the professional. Hey, Brian. Hey, Mark. I need you to go put those rail locks on over there. Hey, Mark, I got a situation. Get your number uh, three. Will you, you wanna, okay. will you help me out with it? Yeah, I can help you out with it. Well, we made the marks. You were here yesterday. Uh-huh. I got the tab in down there. So right here, whenever we lock this in, somebody's gonna need to yank on this so we can get that tab back there. What do you think, that's gonna be the solution? Yeah, that's gonna be the solution. We're gonna have to have someone yank on this while someone is up there with the screw gun screwing in the rail lock. But, right. you know, we gotta, we gotta make sure we do better next time. We always gotta strive to do the best. This is a learning experience right now. It is, it is. You took the words, you know, out of, out of Mark's mouth, Mark. And I really, I like it. That was a great solution. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome, Austin. All right. Here's the thing is, is I don't know how much as he said is accurate. So anything out, anything that Cade said may or may not be accurate. You may not want to listen to any of that. So when installing these pickets, they don't always line up to be even. So as you can see, this one's, this one's the tongue side. And then if you go to this one, it's the groove side. So that when you rip these pickets, you can hopefully use each side of it. So the reason that we start with a tongue on one side and then the next section will start with a groove in case Cade screwed this up is so that if we end up having a section that works we can sometimes use both halves of the the ripped picket but I might be able to use this little sliver that we cut off somewhere over here um, so we're just trying to get the maximum use out of every uh, piece of product that we bring to the site to eliminate waste which saves you money. Here's some things to consider if you're buying a vinyl fence or you're looking at people's work to decide whether or not you should hire them. Number one, are they using C-channel here? The C-channel helps eliminate any daylight gaps that may occur between the picket and the post. Now, some people will do a C-channel but they will not install screws and then that thing floats all over the place. If they don't install screws, that's laziness and you're not getting the most bang for your buck. We put rail locks inside these so that these rails cannot be pulled out. It doesn't matter how hard you pull on them. It doesn't matter how hard the wind blows, but the rails are not going to pull apart. Those rail locks cost a little bit more. They take a little bit of time to install, but they're going to give you a superior product and superior performance in the wind. The way we install these posts, you've already seen that. You already know how great that is, but now what you see at the end of the project is there's not a great big mess. We don't worry about whether or not each one of these sections is exactly the same distance. What we want to do is we want to step back and see that they all look uniform. I don't have eight foot, eight foot, eight foot, eight foot, and then a two foot piece down here at the end. So this is about the best illustration that I can give of why we hinge on the low post. Because look at the slope on that thing. And if we did not hinge on this post, when we open this thing, it would hit the ground right about here. But as you can see, because we hinged on the low post, all it does is get further and further and further away from the ground, which is exactly what we want. Hey, I'm not gonna show you any of the rest of that because by now, I hope that you know how to build a vinyl fence, but that's how you build a no dig vinyl fence in Florida. And this, this is why we build no dig vinyl fence because all that drainage has to go somewhere, usually in our post holes and it wrecks people's yards, makes everybody upset and I'm just done with it. So if you want a really good, solid way to build a no-dig vinyl fence, that's it. And if you need a fence and you're in Northeast Florida, we're the guys. SWI Fence, Florida's fence company. Until next time, I got it from here. You have a good dang day.